So this is not our normal call to action for Water Underground. So as fundraising efforts for our 2017 projects are continuing, a separate issue has arisen that directly impacts our projects in Mozambique. So we're asking for your help. One week ago, a vicious cyclone called Cyclone Dinio uh, slammed into the east coast of Africa, specifically Mozambique and the area of first landfall and the hardest hit was the district of Masinga and that is the district and the location um, exactly where all of our projects have taken place, all of our 11 communities. Now the death toll from the disaster is relatively low, thank goodness, but the devastation is massive. 130,000 people are displaced without basics of shelter, food and water. Given that Mozambique is already one of the most poorest countries in the world, um, this devastation uh, is going to launch them into a much more dire state than they were already in. Now our Water Underground team on the ground, uh, although they have been personally impacted by the disaster with many of their homes being badly damaged, they've sprung into action and have been in all the communities making sure that all the members in the communities are stable and making sure that all of the infrastructures um, that we put in place with the water well, sanitation centers and gardens are functioning and making sure that any repairs that need to be made are made to help the communities uh, rebuild and recover fastest. And as most of you know, our projects all take place in the schools and um, of the 11 schools that our projects are in, three of the schools are completely wiped out and the other eight schools are, are heavily damaged. Um, we've got some photos here for you, so just so you can see some of the devastation. Thankfully, all of the 11 wells that we have put in are still functioning and in fact they're uh, providing life-saving water supplies to many more people than even originally intended. The uh, water supply within the, the town of Masinga has been completely shut down for, uh, since the cyclone and lines are starting since about 4 a.m. every day uh, with families waiting to, to get very, very needed water. Thankfully also our director in Mozambique, Sylvester, used to work for the INGC, which is a national uh, natural disaster agency. So he's very experienced with dealing with situations like this. So we've sort of devised a plan with the INGC and with the local government um, and what Water Underground can do in these relief efforts. So we're going to be targeting relief in our 11 communities to try to combat some of that devastation. And at this time, our, pri our priorities for emergency relief uh, are as follows. Number one, making sure that all of our team is stable and, and able to um, effectively uh, assist all those vulnerable and most impacted by the disaster. Number two is the security, making sure that all the water points um, are, are going to be uh, maintaining as they are intended. So having full-time security personnel at the locations, making sure that uh, water rationing is, is employed if necessary so that the aquifers also have a uh, chance to replenish and making sure that uh, nothing is stolen from the sanitation centers or or the gardens or anything like that in this desperate time of people needing to rebuild. Uh, providing pencils, books, uh, and clothing to all the children in the schools because all belongings have been completely destroyed. Next is uh, making sure that soap is distributed for every family because there's a massive threat right now of cholera and other uh, diseases because of a lack of sanitation facilities. Um, and ultimately, assisting with the rebuilding of classrooms. We would be providing nails, a wire, and 10 to 20 sheets of corrugated metal to assist in the building of classrooms. And this would be enough for about one classroom. Uh, so it would be a joint effort with the government institutions and also the community members themselves. Mm -hmm. We need to raise more than $10,000 to support this relief effort. So that's, that's probably not even enough, but that's our starting point. Um, so at this crucial and fragile moment, we're asking for your help uh, to help these, these communities, these people that we've been working with, many because of you um, and the empowerment and the bright future that they 
um, have been experiencing is not lost and, and um, is not uh, gone. And we need to, your help to make sure that we help rebuild, that they know that they are not forgotten and with your help alleviate their suffering uh, and allow that bright future to continue. So we've created an online uh, fundraiser specifically for um, the Cyclone Dinia Relief in Mozambique. So um, we've got it on the platform of uh, You Caring. So we've got a link here for you. Just click on it and you can donate there. And we promise you that all your donations, 100% of your donations, will go directly to the support and the aid relief in this disaster in Mozambique. So from all of Water Underground and on behalf of all of the members and all of the communities, we want to say thank you uh, for your generosity and for your willingness to help uh, ease the suffering of uh, all of these people in the wake of this disaster. Thanks. Thank you.